I was working in like the Microsoft Azure on Office 365 space and, and just kind of got bored. Like I was doing it for years and, and I did enjoy it, but I just wanted something new, something a bit different. I just wasn't really, wasn't really finding, finding my groove. And then what is it completely different, what to mix it up a bit. And I also feel like uh, if you're not, if you're comfortable in IT, you need to sort of switch up a bit and, and do something different, you know, whether that's leading people or do some different technology. I wanted to just, I didn't want to get the rest of my laurels. So I was all right, let's just go and find different. Uh, Julian Wilson, I'm a professional services consultant with Chairwell Software. Post-sales, implementation. So once it's sold, I come in and I take it from that point right through to the, to the goal line. I've worked with some of the best people in the world, I think, in my, in my short time. I've been in IT eight years now. Um, uh, and the way, the way I, am, I am where I am today, because I've got, I've got the best mentors. That stuff, you just don't forget. And that stuff, I'm, I'm never, never no me. And the reason why I will always have time for my colleagues, my peers. I've got guys that come to me um, now around my career, help with their CVs, career advice, even the guys in my, in my team. And I'm, I give I part advice impartially because that's what was given to me. There was never, the guys that gave me helped me and supported me, actually guys and girls, to be fair, it was never, there was never an agenda. It was purely for my betterment, not for theirs. Um, if, if I look good, it's not in the world, but fundamentally it was about them wanting me to succeed. So I, I approach anything like that now with just, how can I help you, what do you need, and forget my needs, how can I make your life easier? I would say that if you want a mentor, if you need that support, if you feel like you need structure, go ask for it. Technology is enab enabling the housing crisis in the, U in the UK to finally be resolved. Traditionally, we've been building houses the same way for about 500 years, I think. You know, bricks and mortar and house comes up. Now, what technology allows us to do is to basically build, build houses in factories. So rather than spending six months building a house on a building site and it rains and it snows and it gets delayed and the ground sinks, build in a and build in a factory, it's a specification, all automated, it takes a fraction of the time. What I like about technology is the way, uh, the way it benefits people. AI, is, AI plus automation is just, that's some very cool stuff. The, the fear is that you're not going to replace people. People will, get, will do different jobs, they'll do more interesting jobs. Rather than them stamping and rinsing and repeating, they can use that knowledge experience, their, their, their role within the organisation to be, to be more innovative, to be clever, to, to um, add new value. You know, you let the machine rinse and repeat that process. You figure out how to improve that process. The process is running itself, right? Well, then take a step back and how can I improve it? End of the day, for me, it is it is people, process, technology. The technology is, is there to make the people, people processes easier. I want to give back and I love animals, I love dogs, and I love people. So, uh, yeah, and because of the travel, with the way travel is, I can do both. You have to want to do it. It's hours and hours of your time. You're not getting paid for it, so you have to be driven to do it yourself. Find something you want to do and find it, and then make sure that what you set out to do, you can sustain. My advice to anybody would be, go hard or go home. Um, do, do, it prop, do it properly or don't do it at all.